Hey guys, it's President Evil for Zombie. Today I'm going to be going through an updated tutorial for how to get Katawa Shoujo on your Android device. The reason I'm making this video is because the porter made a newer version of the game, and this newer version has a different installation process, so we'll be addressing those steps. First off, you're going to need to download two files, an APK file which will serve as the installation file, and an OBB file which contains all the game's assets. You can either download these files directly onto your phone, or download them on your computer and connect your phone to your computer. I will be going the route of connecting my phone to my computer and manually moving the files to the correct directories. First off, we're going to move the APK file. It really doesn't matter where you put it on your phone, but I'm going to put it in the Android folder just to be organized. Then, open up the OBB folder in the same directory and create a new folder. I'll have a name in the description of the exact title of this folder, but you need to call it vn.katawashoujo. Once you've created that folder, you can click and drag the obb file into there. Now all you need to do is navigate to where you move the apk file on your phone and run it to install Katawa Shoujo. If a security message pops up, you need to disable your phone's blocking of unknown program installations. Every phone is different, but it should be easy to find if you go through your settings. You should now be able to find the icon on your phone and run the game. A quick disclaimer, I have a Galaxy S6 Edge and I've noticed that I cannot access the pause menu no matter how many methods I've tried. This shouldn't be an issue for any other versions of the phone though, as it's worked for the S5 and anything before. Even if you have an S6 Edge and the pause menu does not work, the game will auto save your progress even if you restart your phone. That's it for installing version 7 of Katawa Shoujo on your Android. Thanks for watching, and full credit to the person who originally ported the game.